I'm Anwar Ruziev, and art heist may sound like something out of a movie, but it happened right here in downtown Fort Myers. As your Fort Myers community correspondent, I spend a lot of time in this city, and that was how I met the dad of the gifted young artist whose painting was stolen right off this wall inside the Sydney and Byrne Davis Art Center. March 12th was when this piece of artwork was stolen right off the wall where it was hanging at the Sydney and Byrne Davis Art Center. According to the Art Center's staff and Fort Myers Police Department, this surveillance footage shows a man walking into the center and pulling the painting right off the wall. FMPD says an employee noticed some commotion and managed to take these pictures of the suspects. One headed towards the car, the other in the driver's seat before they made their getaway. It wasn't until the next day that the staff noticed this painting had vanished. It is beautiful, brightly colored. I can totally see why people would want that. After noticing it was gone, staff contacted the law and FMPD used the photos to match a suspect using facial recognition. Officers say that they traced the suspect back to Miami and that a warrant has been issued. The artist behind the stolen painting is Isis McGee, a 17-year-old student at Fort Myers High School. Isis painted the links to draw attention to the species that's on the brink of extinction. Digital prints of the painting will soon be available at the Franklin shops, where Haley Hansen is the director. Hansen says Isis has been selling her artwork since August and that she was excited her work is making history as the first one known to be stolen from the art center. I was dumbfounded, but then I was like, wait, how cool. How cool at the same time. So it, it's unfortunate that history has to be made in these type of circumstances, but it is also a really neat story to tell. The Fort Myers police says in cases like this, the artwork does sometimes end up being returned when a thief is looking for mercy from a judge. Other times they don't return it when they see it as an admission of guilt. Anyone with information regarding the theft is asked to contact the Fort Myers Police Department. Reporting from Fort Myers, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.